Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Erickson, developer of the ProMaker Method and creator of the Step Up to Ultimate Performance program. Looks like we are got another question here as well. It says, why do my shoulders hurt when I swim? That's a great question. It's, um, I think I covered a little bit with the uh, runner's knee. It's a very common misconception that all runners have to have knee pain. Well, that's another common misconception is that all swimmers have to have shoulder pain. And that's actually not true. The, the shoulder is an extremely complex joint. In fact, they don't call it a joint. They call it a joint complex made up of several bones and more than a dozen muscles. And when you have that many moving parts, if any one of those parts does not work properly, you're going to have issues. So if you apply the ProMaker method to the shoulder, you'll find that there are a lot of pitfalls that can happen to where the, uh, the shoulder is not going to work properly. And probably the most uh, common ones you'll run into is a lack of efficiency of the joint itself. And you'll also find that the, um, the, the range of motion of the shoulder is not where it's supposed to be. You would think that with all those moving parts, it'd have a great deal of range of motion. But a lack of efficiency of that joint will cause some serious problems right away. It can actually cause some severe damage that can lead even to surgeries, rotator cuff surgeries. And the most common problem to run into is actually too much um, scar tissue or microscopic adhesions built up within the subscapularis muscle. The subscapularis muscle, its main purpose in life is to pull the head of the humerus down and it leaves a nice space between the head of the humerus and the bone above it, which is the clavicle. If you have a nice space there, then when you raise your arm up over your head for a swim stroke, it actually glides efficiently through a full range of motion and doesn't impinge on any of the tissues. It doesn't impinge on the supraspinous muscle above it or any of the, the nerves that pass below it. But if you don't have that, if you have that uh, a, a kind of a fixed, inflexible, scar tissue ridden subscapularis, when you raise your arm up, it'll actually create an impingement of the muscle above it, which is the supraspinatus. And that is your typical rotator cuff impingement syndrome or your rotator cuff, uh, kind of ro just kind of rotator cuff problem in general. And it's also the most common cause of rotator cuff surgery. As you start to kind of wear a hole with using the head of the humerus into the supraspinatus muscle, it actually can tear that muscle in half um, separating the muscle from the tendon and you actually can have what's the most common rotator cuff tear which unfortunately can require surgery in very severe cases. So don't get yourself in that situation. Make sure you apply the ProMaker method to all the motions of your shoulder, all the tissues of your shoulder. Find out which ones are not working properly. Then you can eliminate those using the step up method to break down the scar tissue in those tissues. If you stay here in the academy, you'll be able to learn all those things on your own and apply that and really fix yourself up and improve your performance at the exact same time. So I hope that answers your question and I will catch you later and I'll see you later at the academy.